السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل دس از آور ففتھ ویڈیو آن دس ایل جی فور ٹن انورٹر اے سی بورڈ ان لاسٹ ویڈیو وی ڈسکسڈ ہاؤ وی کین فکس دس پاور سپلائی ان لاسٹ ویڈیو آئی فاؤنڈ ایس ٹی آر تھری اے ون ففٹی فائیو ڈی آئی سی ڈیمیجڈ ان دس بورڈ وچ آئی ریپلیسڈ وتھ آئی سی ای تھری بی آر ٹین سکسٹی فائیو جے ایف وائل ریپیئرنگ آئی فاؤنڈ سم ایشوز آن دس کیپیسٹر ایریا اینڈ دس کیپیسٹر ایریا اینڈ دین وی ایڈجسٹیڈ دا وی سی سی سیکشن ایف یو ہیو ناٹ واچ دیٹ ویڈیو آئی ول سجیسٹ ٹو واچ ویڈیو نمبر نائن ہنڈریڈ سیونٹی ٹو سی This is primary power. We apply this power. Then it receives standby on command. Because it deals with high power. In initial stage, it will turn on this section. Then this section. Here is IC. When this IC will receive command through this optocoupler, then it will provide regulated voltage here. After that, these voltage are again regulated to 5 volt. It is 15 volt regulator. Then this 5 volt regulator. Then the circuit will power on. And it will turn on this section. If you don't have good practical experience in power electronics, never try to repair, never do any experiment. Here it is using KIA278. R15 PI This is 15 volt regulator with control signal Other regulators 7 8 series regulator are 3 pin regulators but it is 4 pin regulator If we check here at this pin it will receive positive voltage this is ground pin this is output pin and the last pin that is control pin this positive voltage are reaching here and then it is going here at this point at the same point another line is returning back here at this point then some components are here SMD components resistors and capacitors to make the command signal here if we check this point, these two points, these are reaching to this optocoupler. Here it is using 358, 358T optocoupler. This is collector side and this is diode side. This pin it is connected to ground. This is command signal. If we check command signal, first pin here at this connector is reaching to positive voltage. From this capacitor that are 7.8 volt. The second pin is ground pin. And the ground pin is also connected at this optocoupler primary side. That is cathode pin. Anode pin is connected to this resistor. And this resistor. Here it is using 152. 1 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. This resistor 152. 1500 ohms. And this is 271, that means 270 ohms. 271, 152. And these both resistors are connected together at the same point. And this second end of this resistor, this resistor 271 ohm, one end is connected to anode, second side is connected to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pin number 7 let's see how this circuit is working
from this str3 a155 power supply we are receiving four outputs 15 volt 18 volt 21 volt 12 volt 7.8 volt like that 18 volt power supply is coming to this ic kia 278r15 pi pin 1 pin 2 is ground pin 3 is output pin 4 is control Eighteen volt are connected to optocoupler. Optocoupler is connected here, and here is maybe some resistor network or like that to provide around two volt above than two volt at this pin. When it will receive above than two volt here, it will turn on. Then it will provide this five fifteen volt. ground is connected here and here one resistor is connected at this point 270 ohms and here it is connected with one resistor that is 1500 ohm 1.5k so this is command signal signal is here when it will receive signal it will switch this transistor it will provide these voltage here before this voltage were reaching here but these were not passing to here when it will receive voltage here 15 volt then it will provide to 7805 1 2 3 and we will receive 5 volt here 15 5 basically this signal is coming from any processor we don't know how much voltage level will be there for that purpose we need to check the data sheet of this optocoupler how much current it will need how we can determine the signal level because this time I don't have communication or control board for this board here I am using two here it is using 270 ohm resistor if we check data sheet of optocoupler 7 milliampere to 10 milliampere current is required to turn on this LED for example I will select 0 0.01 10 milliampere 2.7 volt will drop here and we will need 1 volt for this LED that means 3.3 volt signal will be provided here to turn on this LED let's see if practically first we will check voltage and then we will apply power then we will turn it on I connected power DC voltage at these two points common pin at this point we have 7.8 volt 7.8 if you will divide 7.8 volt by 2 then we can receive 3.3 volt here so we will make voltage divider network here always take care for the safety when we are working on the board this time at this pin that is this point and this point we have 21 volt but pin number 3 is not providing anything so we don't have any voltage here at this point and we don't have voltage at this canister 
power supply is on but this time we don't have any further power supply I will use two 1 kilo ohm resistors as a voltage divider network and we will use this 7.8 volt signal to create 3.3 volt 1 end will connect it to ground and second end to positive terminal pin 1 and pin 2 and now we will connect pin number 7 that is command pin that is this pin 3 4 5 6 7 pin number 7 now I will connect this signal to pin number 7 2 3 4 5 6 7 3 4 5 6 7 when this signal will reach here the board will turn on let's see it Now I will apply signal. Yes, the signal is present and it is now turned on. Now we will check voltage here uh, at this capacitor, at this capacitor. Set voltmeter to DC voltage. Before this, no voltage were here, but now 15 volt that is regulated output from this regulator. When we will remove this command signal, this 15 volt will finish. Now I will remove command signal. Now the relay is off and this IC is off. Yes, 15 volt. The same here, that is second stage regulator from the same power supply. It is it is providing now 5 volt. When I will remove this signal, it is turned off. Yes. Now it is providing signal. So this is called standby signal. And here is test point for this standby signal. That is here. That is for this IC. It is 6 volt signal at this point because here is voltage divider network. This 21 volt, these are present here. And now these voltage are reaching at this point. Sorry, I was, I said 18 volt, these are 21 volt. I'm sorry for that. Okay. But these voltage are not reaching here at this point when we will apply command at that time it will receive 
signal here through this optocoupler and this time it will provide voltage here this time we are listening the sound oscillation sound of the relay this oscillation sound this is from this startup circuit because this time it is not finding voltage here first it will start this relay and this relay will turn on this module and we will receive voltage at bridge rectifier but this time I am not connecting this supply because I don't have heat sinks this time it is showing error that means our microprocessor is started working and it is sensing different lines this time I don't have heat sink for IPM and bridge rectifier and IGBTs if I will connect reactor and I will apply power it will start to rectify like we, without heat sink IGBT IPM these items can damage it is best to not to turn on the circuit without heat sinks in next session we will continue to this section how this section is configured current sense IC and this module if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching